No, oh, Tyrone. What were you thinking? You know, you just... You flew a little too close to the sun. Kill me! Put me out of my misery! Just kill me, please! Hello everyone, I'm TG, and this is your home for garbage gameplay. Today, we're taking a look at a brand new build for Annette made possible by the July 10th update. Now, this build I like to call Thick Annette because it makes your creatures thick and chonky. We're going to make it so our creatures are almost impossible to take down. And if they do get taken down, it's going to be at the cost of a lot of ammunition on the survivor's part. This build is very similar to the Sawbone Annette build with a few key differences. It's a lot more of a set it and forget it type of build. You're not going to have to stay on your camera and heal your creatures with your enhancers. It's more about setting up little powwows for the survivors to run into and maintaining your bioenergy economy. So we'll take a look at the build and then I'll show you guys a match I played earlier using it. That way you can see it in action and try it yourself. So for her bioweapon variant, it is Lady's Choice. I like Fury, but it's really up to your personal playstyle. The only one that I would steer clear of is Beastmaster, because overall it doesn't seem that useful. For genetic mutation, defense is the way to go, because that's what's going to make our zombie chowder thick, chonky, and delicious. The next one's a no-brainer. We're going to use Enhancement, because Ambush is counterproductive to what we're trying to do, which is load a room up and wait for them to come to us. And creature efficiency is just unnecessary. Now, for her first exclusive card, we're going with Tough Zombie Berserker. Her Healing Vapor is great in just about every build except for this one because we're actually not using a Berserker Enhancer in our deck. Now, our next exclusive card is a no-brainer. It's going to be Concentrated Enhancer. This remains one of the best cards, if not the best card in the game, and I can't imagine an Annette build that uses anything but this. This bad boy is going to be your best friend when you're using this build because as soon as you shoot a creature with it, their defense is going to go through the roof. Now onto the equipment, nothing too fancy here. We're using Resilient Skin 3, 2, and 1. That's just so our chonky boys are as tough to take down as possible. We are also going to be adding my favorite piece of equipment, the Miniature Reactor. And the reason for that is this build is quite bioenergy intensive, especially if you're facing off against a lot of speedrunners. I'm looking at you, Tyrone. Now onto her deck. We're of course going to be using Efficiency Mod Creatures, and you'll notice we're not using any Enhancing Vapors. We're instead going to stick to Enhancer Infection, Enhancer Regen, and Enhancer Energy Leech. The reason for that is the Vapors are actually a little too expensive for this build, and we don't really need map-wide coverage because we're going to be working room to room. You'll also notice we don't have Enhancer Berserker in here, and that's because our exclusive card in Area 2 is going to be our Tough Zombie Berserker, which will free up our deck for the Fortifying Anchor. I absolutely love this new card. It works similar to a turret, you shoot it out and it tethers every creature it hits to that camera. You can then jump to another camera, do whatever you gotta do. Every creature that's tethered has increased defense, so it's very useful in rooms that have more than one camera. Because you can be loading up a room all the while the survivors are dealing with it. The only way to get rid of it other than disengaging it yourself is for the survivors to shoot out the camera. So for our zombie lineup, pretty standard here, we got the double zombie, the tough zombie, regular zombie, Imposter Zombie, and the Liquor. You can switch out the regular zombie or the Imposter Zombie for pretty much anything you want, aside from a detonator. But I like the Imposter Zombie because he's just a little bit more aggressive, and he can sometimes trick the survivors into thinking that you're controlling him. So, that's the build. We're going to check out a match I played earlier using it, and you will see just how much ammo it takes to take these boys down. Enjoy. All right, looks like we have a fairly low rank team, so not should not be too much trouble. Now, unfortunately, I haven't started with any mod card, so we're just going to have to make do with regular costed zombies. Now, I just want to stall them as much as I possibly can. Because this is where I'm going to make my stand. So start the juicing process. Beautiful, got all three. Let us 
change the balance here. And if they could just take their time. I'm gonna get my anchor on too. Perfect. I cannot sit idly by while you attempt Okay, to let's do it. Coming, Becca. Coming. Not lethal by itself. Now it looks like they're on my anchor yet. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the amount of ammo that they're spending just trying to take me down here. Gave up, eh? Your continued efforts only place humanity. Oh, Becca, Becca, Becca. All right, good sir. You have served your purpose. Now Sam's here, so just want to kind of slow him down a little bit. They're close to the end. Don't want to go too crazy, but I keep getting enhancers, so I might as well use them. I should have controlled a zombie earlier. No problem, we got our berserker zombie now, so our boys are gonna be even chonkier than they were. I must complete your eradication. Just wanna lock this door before I dig in. One more enhancer, that'd be great. No. Alright, might as well fortify them. Oh, Yurik, you asshole. Got in the way. And I'm jammed. Well, this is not going as well as I would have liked. Just, yeah, I didn't get a chance to enhance them. Well, I'm not going to let that deter me. That's fine. I'll just go load up the back. I'm actually going to let them have those two terminals because... I don't think it's going to matter. I should be able to stop them in the last room. save the liquor I might need it if uh, things go south here just get the anchor and time to drop the man of the hour all right respect the pipe January taking out my anchor she forgets though Forgets the pipe is law. All right, next. That's enough laying pipe for one day. You will all end like this. Yeah, go ahead and resurrect them because this is going to be a corridor of death. January trying to come back, but we're just going to slow her roll.
And to be honest, sometimes I lose track of myself. So we're not gonna let these girls have free reign. Six that time. Perfect. Well, that escalated quickly. So that's the connect. Obviously, it's a lot more easier to counter this if you have more melee or torches, but not this time around. So, as always, I'm TG. If you like what you saw, you know what to do. If not, eh. Keep it sleazy.